you can cause a lot of damage if you take action while you're angry. If counting to 10 has not worked for you in the past, I found something really interesting in today's featured book that you should definitely check out. Plus, I have four ways to keep you from doing something that you're gonna regret while angry. Hey there, and welcome to the Booksters Club where we find daily inspiration from the books you love. Today's featured book is I Don't Have to Make Everything All Better by Gary and Joy Lundberg. And today's inspirational thought comes to us on both page number 62 and 63, it says. First and foremost, effective teaching can happen only when you're in control of yourself. If you, as a father, mother, husband, wife, parent, neighbor, friend, boss, or worker, are angry or out of control, there is no way any real teaching or learning will take place. You will say things you later regret and defensive attitudes and arguments will erupt. It is only after those involved are calm that there can be a teaching moment. In our son's case, that didn't happen until he was home from the hospital and feeling better. And the interesting thing about it was that he was the one who brought up the subject by admitting he shouldn't have gone to the store. Instead of zeroing in on what he had done wrong, there was no need, he understood, our conversation turned into a discussion of the effects of drinking and driving, something he now had strong feelings about. It turned into a good learning experience for everyone in the family. So previous to what I just read you in the book, there was a story about how his son, 13 years old, had a paper route and he was riding his bike to deliver his paper route and he was supposed to come straight home after he was done but instead he went to a convenience store that happened to be on a busy street and he was actually hit by a drunk driver. Um, he did go to the hospital, he was fine, and what he was talking about with that scenario was that he didn't, you know, I'm sure he was really angry at his son for not listening, but he didn't go in and start tongue lashing him, uh, he waited, and then his son is the one that actually brought it up and admitted, you know, he did something he shouldn't have. And then there was a valuable moment, a teaching moment that could take place because everyone was calmed down, everybody's guards were down, but the real lesson was about um, drinking and driving and his son actually took uh, more value in what was being said and the delivery because of the timing and because now it was something that was important to him. And so that is what I wanted to talk about today was what happens when we take action when we're angry. What happens in our brains when we're angry? Neurotransmitter chemicals called catecholamines are released and they send a burst of energy into your body. That burst of energy sends a signal that it's time to take immediate action. Also, increased blood flow sends blood to your limbs that sends a signal that says now it's time to take physical action. Also, your um, attention narrows and it focuses hard on the cause of your anger. And it's almost like you can't see or notice anything else. Taking action while you're angry is only gonna leave you with regret. You're not thinking clearly, you're actually thinking with a narrow mindset. And so you're always going to feel as if you did something that was on autopilot and not something from your conscious thoughts, something that you were able to think about and make sure that you were being clear in that moment of exactly what your intentions were. We all know we shouldn't take action when we're angry. And if counting to 10 just isn't working for you, I have four other things that you can do in order to calm yourself down before you take action. Number one, you should take deep, long breaths. When you have short, hard breathing, it reinforces that fight or flight in your system. And so actually deep breathing will slow your heart rate, it'll calm you down, and it'll get you out of that state. Number two, change your focus. So leave the situation, walk away, think about something else, but that narrow-minded thinking on whatever it was that made you angry, you should be thinking about something, anything other than that. Number three, put some time in between whatever angered you and the action that you take. So after you walked away from the situation, just make sure you don't walk right back in to the action that you're gonna take because that 
anger might still be a little too fresh. Number four, get curious. Open your narrow anger thinking to a more curious mindset. You know that when you can genuinely be curious and approach a situation with curiosity, that you have definitely put enough time in between what angered you and the action that you take. Let me know in the comments if you've used any of these four tips before and if they worked or not. Also, I would love to know if you're planning on using any of these tips and if you found them helpful. If you had a different take on this part of the book, a different part in this book, or a different book entirely that you think should be featured here on the Bookstores Club, I would love to hear about that also in the comments. Thank you so much for clicking that like button if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you're new because I post new videos just like this one every single day. See you tomorrow, Booksters. So you can cause, okay, so I say so a lot. We're gonna try not to do that today. I don't have to make everything a little better. So in the book, no, and his son actually, okay, so let me, let's fix that. Okay, hold it. Cado, okay, catecholamines. Matters called catecholamines are released. Cause a burst of energy. Mm, let's say that differently. Neurotran not so, we're not gonna say so. I say so too much, all right. Are neurotransmitters um, called neurotransmitter chemicals, okay. And so also your, I said and so also twice, so let's read it. Is that you're gonna, okay, so no. let's, let's rephrase. So when you, don't say so, okay, I say so too much, okay. In a, um, uh, what is that called? You don't, why can't I think of the the word again? What, what, what is it? Um, it, it is, uh, da, 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 da. I had it and now it's gone. It's not gone, it's coming back, come on. What, what was it? It was, what was it, what was it, what was it? The word was autopilot, by the way. <laughs> um, autopilot, I couldn't think of autopilot that that time isn't just, you know, because, <laughs> I mean, what angered you and, um, and what angered you and actually did, that you don't do, that you don't, um, <laughs> that you don't take immediate action. Okay. Number three, the action that you take. Didn't I just repeat myself, maybe? Okay, so do you have to have something to say about that? The, um, the action, the, it, the angle might be too fresh. But. Number three, too soon to whatever. Okay, why is this so difficult to explain? <laughs> so you sh don't say so, don't say so. Okay, you've known, you know, <laughs> you know that you put it up there. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these four things, any of these four tips before. That's a wrap.